There's a school of thought out there, apparently, that Jesus Christ practiced DEI. That he didn't just practice it, he effectively lived for it. There's a Florida state representative named Rosalind Osgood. Shockingly, she's a Democrat. She says that we should be especially outraged about the DEI being removed from schools and workplaces because it's at the very, very heart of the gospel. We'll go through what she said, and then I want to offer you a way to counter diversity with one single question. If you ever get called in to a meeting with the diversity people, and you're ever forced to sit there and listen to this nonsense, I want to offer you one quick question you can provide to the diversity leader that will absolutely put the lie down to diversity, equity, and inclusion. Watch. This is so, so simple as so many things are. You can make things super complicated. You make them super simple. Here's a super simple fact. You need food to survive. Okay, here's another simple fact. You can choose the foods you eat to be healthy or unhealthy, and that's on a spectrum, right? There's not perfectly healthy foods, and there's not, well, there are actually perfectly unhealthy foods, but there's not perfectly healthy foods if they're not eaten in the right time and the right ways. There's the very healthiest. There's also this. You can choose to get help getting more nutrition for every dollar you spend, and it's very, very simple. It's at bioptimizers.com slash Todd. It's a product called Masszymes. These are very, very powerful digestive enzymes that help you get more nutrition from every bite of chicken or steak or fish, even whey protein, anything like that, that you are not getting now. And there's proof. Bioptimizers paid a university to do a study on this. It's Berkshire and Alshur University in Bosnia. And in a side-by-side -side comparison, they found that the people who eat the food we're talking about, hopefully super healthy, healthy food, and use masszymes, see a 1,200% increase in the number of amino acids in their bodies. Amino acids build proteins, proteins build muscle, muscle helps you reduce the amount of fat in your body if you continue to stay mobile. So, be simple. Go to optimizers.com slash Todd, pick up a bottle or two or three or five of masszymes and stop letting poor digestion rob you of proper nutrition and get more nutrition for every dollar. It's bioptimizers.com slash Todd. This is this woman named Rosalind Osgood. She's a Democrat. She's in Florida. She's a state rep. And she has a message about DEI and the Lord Jesus. We've had a massive attack <laughs> on diversity, equity, and inclusion. That should outrage all of us as Christians because we are all a recipient of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Remember, it was diversity that took the gospel from the Jews to the Gentiles. It was equity that Jesus died on that old rugged cross to equally pay for my sins and your sins. And good God Almighty, it was inclusion that God, before our mama met our daddy, had already included us in his plan of divine sovereign salvation. So Bethel, will you help me by voting and blocking a shot and voting to elect Kamala Harris as the next president of these United States of America and Tim Walks as the vice president. We will not tolerate racism any longer. We will not stand to be demeaned and disrespected. We will not allow our God to be insulted. And we're going to use our prophetic voice and our vote to block this shot. God bless you and God bless America. I'll see you on the other side as we give our God glory in this moment and this time. Our prophetic voice? She's a prophetess. Meaning she's never been wrong because a good prophet's never been wrong. A real prophet's never been wrong. She's a prophetess. Our prophetic voice. Wow, cool. It was equity. That's why the Lord Jesus went to the cross was for equity. That's in, um, what? Alex, you know the Bible better than I am. Is that Matthew where it says it's equity? Or no, wait, no, I'm sorry. That's the book of Rosalind. The Lord Jesus came to pay a debt. It was a debt that could not be paid. You want inclusion? There's your inclusion. You know what he didn't do? Force people to agree. You know what he didn't do? 
look at his disciples and, and apostles and say, oh, man, I don't have any Asian people here. I need to meet some Asian people. Well, maybe he didn't know that there were people in Spain. Need to meet some Spanish people. Maybe God didn't know about people in Africa. I need to meet some Africans. He looked at a human race he created and determined, hey, I, I can use anybody. They don't have to be anybody special. I can use anybody because he's God. So going to the cross for equity, is propitiation paying debt, is that equity? Okay, sure, yeah, reparations. Yeah, that's equity. Where you go to people who never once held a slave in their entire family history, never held a slave, and you go to them and for equity say, we need to steal twenty. Five thirty-five thousand dollars from your family, run it through the magic money laundering machine of government, pay for people's salaries, and retirements, pension plans, vacations, etc. Then take whatever's left and give that to people who never were slaves, who never held, who never were slaves, and no one in their history ever held or were slaves. That's what we need to do because that's equity. No, that's coveting. That's stealing. That's doing it by force. Inclusion. It was inclusion. That's why the Lord Jesus sent people out to go and find the Gentiles. Okay, cool. The Bible also excludes. Not by God's design, but by human design. I have not come to unite, but to divide, said the Lord Jesus. Not because he's a divisive person, dash God. Because he's truth. And truth divides people. So as that lady wraps up her statement, she ties this into, let's honor God by electing a woman who stole the Democrat nomination from a decrepit old man who pretends to have gotten votes, who is for abortion at all costs, who pretends boys are girls, who pretends it's okay to continue to allow people to steal spots within the Electoral College. That's honoring God. Oh, plus she's a prophetess, meaning she's never wrong when she's prophesying. Got it. 